Some self-hosted WordPress sites tend to run slowly, especially if they get lots of heavy traffic every day. This may be due to the amount of large files that the site needs to load, or it might be due to inefficient coding. Now there's nothing worse than a slow site, so in this video I'm going to give you some quick tips on how you can speed up your self-hosted WordPress site. These tips apply only to self-hosted WordPress sites. If your site is hosted on WordPress.com, then you're already being taken care of. First and foremost, you want to stay up to date with the latest releases of WordPress. Staying up to date with the latest version of WordPress is crucial. In every update, there are usually lots of performance enhancements, bug fixes, and so on. The same goes for WordPress plugins. Stay up to date with the latest versions, and it's important for the same reasons that you should keep up to date with your latest version of WordPress. WordPress plugin developers release new versions because they've modified the code in some way to make the plugin better, so keep up with the releases. You want to disable or delete unused plugins, and this is probably one of the biggest issues that causes WordPress sites to slow down. Depending on the plugin, they can have tons of scripts and code, so if you're not using a plugin, then disable it or maybe even delete it. Decide which plugins are necessary for your site to run and then do away with the ones that aren't needed. You know, it's as simple as that. Since your code is what runs your site behind the scenes, optimizing it can do wonders for your load time. Here are some easy ways to clean up your code so it loads faster. First off, you should decrease white space. White space refers to the spaces that are used in your code. Some coders like to use a lot of white space, you know, indented tabs, line breaks, and so on, for better organization and so it reads better. But decreasing white space will speed up your site's load time by taking some extra bytes off the total size. Okay, here's an example of using some white space. You can see all the code is quite spread out. And here's an example of minimized white space. And you can see it looks a lot more efficient. Instead of placing tons of code in your header PHP file, use external scripts. And this allows the browser to cache the script so it won't have to read it for every other page. And here's an example of using external scripts. Another thing that you should consider doing is using shorthand CSS. Using shorthand CSS is great for everyone. It's great for you, it's great for your browser, and it's great for your site visitors. It allows your CSS code to be more concise, and as I said, it loads a lot faster too. Let me give you an example. Here is an example of some regular CSS. And here's an example of using shorthand CSS. OK, and the final thing that you should do is minimize PHP and database queries. And this is perhaps the most important thing of all. Each time a page on your site loads, it adds to the load time if your browser has to execute any PHP queries. So if you replace the PHP queries with static HTML code, then every time a page loads, your browser will just read the HTML. At the top is an example of lots of queries and requests, and you can see it looks quite complicated. Now take a look at what those inquiries look like when the queries and requests are minimized. And I'm sure you agree it's a lot simpler and it'll run a lot quicker. So if you take the steps that I've shown you in this video, it'll speed up WordPress considerably.